The pay for slave program was a big problem for President Trump, and that's why he cut off the money. Biden put it back. And guess what? Palestinian Authority just raised their budget for killing Jews in Israel. And the United States did zip about it. Nothing. So listen to this. In January, a few months ago, the Palestinian Authority increased its pay for slave budget by 1.3 million. So whatever is being said publicly, the internal numbers from the Palestinian Authority say they're paying out more than they ever had. Palestinian Media Watch has been exposing this to the United States Congress by the month. Unbelievable. Trump had dropped the aid to UNRWA to, all, to nothing and it dropped the aid to the Palestinians phenomenally because of the pay for slave program. Biden put it all back, contrary to the Taylor Force Act, and it's growing now by the month. They're now saying, this is Palestinian Media Watch, that literally we, you, Will Johnson, me, Barry Nussbaum, and other Americans are funding the pay for slave program. We are paying Palestinians to kill Jews in Israel. Now, After it came out about UNRWA, a lot of countries cut their budget and the Palestinians started screaming about it. So what happened? They put the money back. What did the Palestinians do with it? They're spending it on murder. Jeez, that's a shocker. And so what's happening? More and more terror attacks every single day. There was stabbings today. There were stabbings yesterday. There was a car ramming the day before. There was a shooting the day before that in Israel from Palestinians who want that money for their families. Well, Unbelievable. Don't they um don't they pay the families when they do horrific crimes? So mm-hmm. they need to be able to pay them. Well, wait, wait, the- if the per- if the perpetrator gets killed, mm-hmm. the money goes to the family. Yes, you're correct. You're yeah, 100%. I mean so correct. I mean so somebody they got they got to get the money from somewhere, right? Because <laughs> they they're not doing anything to generate income other than terrorism. And then the Biden regime is like, oh, let's pour more money into them so they can pay these people off. That's what it's all about. And the most interesting thing, Barry, they're not even hiding it, right? So I saw a report today where the Pentagon related to this is building this, it's like a platform. Oh, you're talking about the the pier? Yeah, the pier, right? So they can be not on the shore, you know, there's no boots on the sand, right? So so we can't say there's boots on the ground, Barry, but there's no boots on the sand. So what we'll do is we'll create this pier just off and we're going to supply Hamas what they need through this pier, you know, because we got, we're doing this for humanitarian reasons. They're keeping the, they're, they're going to help Hamas as much as possible to keep the war going. Joe Biden is playing both sides. You want to I mean, hear he really is. a wild one? They shot rockets at the pier the United States Army is building to supply them with food. Already? Yesterday. <laughs> oh, so that makes sense. That makes sense why Matt Gates was asking the the Pentagon. What is his name? Oh, oh, Austin, the Secretary of Defense. Thank you. Thank you. Lloyd Austin, Lloyd Austin yeah. the big guy who had the heart attack and didn't tell anybody. Yes, MIA, uh, yeah. right? Anybody but else will be, will be removed. Mm-hmm. They asked Biden. Biden goes, I don't know. I, I didn't mm-hmm. know he was gone. He's just a member of my cabinet. Yeah. I, see, Joe Biden, he could be sitting next to Joe Biden. I don't know where he is. Yeah, oh, what's it's he you. Like? What's he It's like? you. I forgot. <laughs> it's you. Oh, face your name towards me so I can see it. Right. Yeah, exactly. But anyways. So Matt Gates was talking to Secretary Austin, Defense Secretary Austin, about the the pier, and he asked me, he said, "So what happens when you, when they shoot at him?" He said, "Are the U.S. military able to shoot back?" And he says, "Yeah, they should be able to defend themselves." So he said, "So how is that not the same as boots on the ground?" Well, it's not actually boots on the ground because they're boots are not in the sand. No, it's boots on the ground. Come on, it's boots it, on the pier. <laughs> but the American people go, well, it, you know, technically there was no sand under their boots, Barry. Oh my it's God. so stupid. And, and, and I didn't even realize yeah. that they shot at the pier. I mean, come yeah. on. Come yeah. on. They're just daring the American military to shoot back so then they can have world opinion. 
Oh my God! America is trying to kill the Gazans. Oh come on! So, so <laughs> everyone that everyone that was on the pier ran away. That that's so. <laughs> oh my God! I, I have so many words that are so negative. It must be humiliating for the troops that are there. Run away! It must be run away. Well, see, so that means Secretary Defense Secretary Austin just lied then as well because Matt Gates asked him, "Are they able to shoot back if they're fired upon?" And he said, there no, "Yes." There was no return fire. It was in the article. Sorry. As soon as as soon as they shot rockets at the pier, they should have just wiped them out. I, I, I mean, I'm sorry. Am, am I, is that mean? Is that mean? I mean, really? Because it's going to happen again. They've already been killing U.S. personnel. Iran oh, yeah. has been killing U.S. personnel. You know, so, so this is just going to be another one. Ships every day, Navy sailors in in the Gulf are getting shot at every day. Will yeah, this? You know, uh, this is the weakest the U.S. military has ever been in the history of this country. The weakest. We used to think Jimmy Carter was the low in the in the new polling. Biden is now worse than Jimmy Carter, who was oh the worst. Yeah, he's making Jimmy Carter look like a superhero. <laughs> yeah, like a, like, a, like a military hawk. Like a Don. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.